currently 6.01 a.m. Yeah, gotta work. I just realized that if I was not recording uh, daily videos, I would probably find a way to not do any of those. I mean, uh, I would find a way to be busy with something else, which is a problem in itself. And it just proves that I need to allocate some time for a few things in my days. Otherwise, I won't do them, so. Speaking of videos, I just recorded a whole episode and I just decided to scrap it and start over because it didn't resonate with me. It didn't, it didn't seem right and it didn't, yeah, it didn't sound right. It was just meh, I didn't like it. So I said it a couple of times that I'm forcing myself to uh, do the task in order to be able to complete it. But there's a paradox here where, yes, I'm forcing myself to do it continuously even when I don't want to, but also I do it because I like to do it, or at least I have some uh, fun doing it, or I have some benefit doing so. So that, at the end of the day, I'm not doing everything I'm doing just because I need to, or just because I'm forced to, or just because I'm obligated to do so. It's not just a matter of doing everything you can and just hustle, 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 and not, not thinking about what you're doing. Because at the end of the day, it's just, it comes back to doing busy work. And doing busy work, we all know that, yeah, sure, you're busy, but you're not actually making progress. Or if you do make progress, then just a little bit at a time. And it's not as exponential as you could be doing. So it all comes down to having a clear goal of what you want to achieve. My goal is to become better and overall better. And so for that, it's, it's not only in one area that I want to become better. Sure, I have a lot to learn still for, for example, for videos because I need to learn more ways of editing and more ways to uh, record, more angles, more techniques in general, and color grading as well. That's something I want to learn, but I didn't allocate the time yet for that. But one day, one day, it's, uh, it, it's in the plans. It's, it's there. Uh, at some point, it's there. Yes, it is. I, I'm telling you, it's, it's there. <laughs> it's not just something that I wish I want to do. It's something that I want to do. So this is one thing that I want to do. And amongst a ton of others that I really want to. But it all comes down to what are the priorities and what are the things that you really want to achieve that will make you progress faster and make you uh, achieve your goal or reach your goal uh, in, a, in a timely manner. That's, that's the idea behind that. So as I mentioned in the beginning, uh, if I was not doing daily videos, I would regret it because I would not make progress toward uh, being able to more easily edit uh, and just make sure that um, the sound is right and the lighting is right as well, as much as possible, again. But if I was not doing it daily, I would not be able to consistently continue to grow. I would stop. I would just make excuses. I would find ways to just dismiss this. I would find ways to just make it so that eh, it's not that important after all. And it's just reasons and excuses to not actually do the work. And it's easy to find excuses. It's really easy. And most of the time, those excuses are compelling. I mean, they're, they're logical, they make sense, they make sense on the surface, but if you dig down, they don't. So that's, that's when you, you see that, it, are, are you not doing something because you, you, you would be blocked from doing something else or because you just find it easier to not do it than to actually do the work? 
That's one question that you can ask yourself. So that's what I'm asking myself when uh, I'm when I don't feel like doing my exercises. Is it is it worth not doing it? Is it worth telling yourself that you did it when in fact you didn't complete it? So I I wouldn't I wouldn't be able to uh, live with myself if I was just lying to myself like that and just saying yeah yeah it's fine you you skipped one day but nah. It's fine. Not that it's impossible to skip a day or that it's the end of the world. It's not. But it's not a good way to look at, at things if you just make it so that it's not that important. So let me be clear. My point is really to make sure to focus on the work that you need to do and that you want to accomplish. But at least if you skip a day, if you for example, if you're not able to complete it on that day, at least don't make it an excuse for the next day because that's too easy. That's way too easy. Just stopping stopping something is so, so easy and you just start to slip and slip and slip until you're at the bottom of the hill. And when you realize it, it's not too late, but it's already been a while. And then you have to climb back up the hill. And then it's hard. And then you don't really want to because you already did all the work for that period of time. And then you realize that you have to redo it again. And then now it's really annoying. So why not try and be consistent so you don't have to always redo the same thing. By I'm not saying not redoing the same thing. Every, every now and then I need to do push-ups again. Sure. But that's not what I mean. What I mean is if you you don't want to redo and go over the same progress that you already did or complete before. So that's that's out of respect to yourself because you, you have to you have to respect your future self in order to complete the work and ensure that your future self doesn't have to deal with the same the same uh, the same crap that you already dealt with. I mean, that's out of kindness, right? Out of kindness that you <laughs> take care of your future self by doing the work now and not having it, having to redo it again and again and again. So overall, making sure that we're consistent is, uh, is key. That's, that's it. That's it. Consistency. Consistency and review of what, what you have to do to make sure that you're making progress. Because it's easy to just redo the same job over and over, and you think you're making progress, but if you don't review what you did, and you don't review what, you, what you've what you been doing for a while, then you're just, again, doing busy work. Because, yeah, that's like running in place. You're not going anywhere, but you're doing something, right? So that's why I started to, a few, a few, few days back uh, now I've been starting to chunk my day into uh, little parts but also start to have uh, an alarm to check uh, every hour if for that hour I've been doing something meaningful or helpful toward my goals if I've done something that helped so is this something that I wanted to do is this something that uh, would help me in the long run so I review it and I see if uh, it doesn't, it just takes a few seconds. Just say, okay, yeah, for the last hour, I've been doing this and that. Yes, it's been, uh, it, I've, I've been uh, growing and it's been a good hour of work. And yeah, it's been fruitful. So it's helpful for that. And then, yeah, I just keep going. And then after that, yeah, sure, you need to take breaks. That's fine. But, uh, and not all the hours in your day will be uh, as productive as the other. But that's, that's not the point. The point is really to review and do your best. Do the best you can do during your day, during the time that you have. And it's not a matter of not sleeping and whatnot, but you have to do whatever you can in the time that you allocate yourself to the day. So you make sure that you make the best out of it. So, go out, work, do your best. You got this. So that's it for me today. Till tomorrow, 
Ciao.